got a smooth first layer down before we're done with this session. I'm going to put one down the crown. I ended up using a little bit more on this tip than this, so I'm going to even it out. I leave it strong while doing this because uh, the moisture and the sinew will actually, even if it's reflexed, it'll relax the bow a bit before it starts to dry and draw it back up. So by having tension on the back the whole time, it'll allow this to shrink and do its work starting here instead of starting here to there and then back to here. I'll slightly overlap this. And this is just going down the center one third to half the bow being crowned up a little bit in the middle. You'll see how the, the sinew is thinner at the bottom here, where it is overlapped. Forward by 
Go back and make sure everything's smoothed out as best it can be for now. Then as soon as this, I'm going to let it sit in my shop for a day. And then I'm going to go put it under my bed downstairs where coolest place in the house. And the humidity is always between 45 and 50%. Um, one more important thing especially with a thin flat bow, is uh, take a piece of duct tape or even packaging tape and put it across the belly, stick it to the belly, or else moisture releases too quick through the wood and it'll split. It doesn't affect the performance of the bow at all, but it affects the looks, so that's what that's for.